Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Playing by the Pound. This time we have Dragon Diving. This is a game made by Diode Moth, and if you recognize that name, or is it Diode? Regardless, if you recognize that name, you might, because they did the Dragon Airmel and Dragon Airmel DX games, which I've also covered in the past, which are very wholesome games where a dragon ate you. This is also a very wholesome game where a dragon eats you. Go figure. This time it's a Game Boy game, though, too, which is, uh, that's kind of cute. So, we're gonna check this out, but of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach a partner over here, but we need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's to work or to talk, think about doing so, because it does make a very, very big difference, and we'd honestly love to have you. I also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content, and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. Links are in the description. You can check them out if you feel like it. And, of course, I also want to mention, of course, that we have a wake dr weight gain drive going for the next eight weeks. Uh, this is week one of eight. And you can see on the site up there, that's update zero. We're, we're going to do update one in, in a week from now. It's going to be drawn. Based on the donations received for this drive, this is to raise funds just for general living purposes, living expenses. It'll be split 50-50 between me and the artist Fluffs, uh, who is also in that picture there on the side. Uh, basically, you donate money, my character gets fatter. But you can check out the website that is also linked in the description for more details. So go check that out if you're, if you're curious about what's going on. Or you just want to see the new pictures that show up, because it'll also be on the site. So go check that out. Uh, but that being said... Uh, let's see here. The description of this game reads, Explore the insides of a dragon in a far-off magical forest full of talking creatures, even the bugs. The forest is watched over by a forest dragon. Made of similar vegetation to the forest they inhabit, this dragon is particularly well-suited to being its guardian by blending in with the forest itself. Normally, there is nothing they can't handle. On this day, however, the forest protector has a problem. They have a tummy ache. Seeing as you are a bug that specializes in taking care of plants, they have reached out to you to ask for help in treating their digestive woes. Despite this being completely outside your field of expertise, you go to help them. So, let's go ahead and start. What's their credits? Alright, bye. <laughs> hey, let's look at the credits. Bug's like, I, I'm out, I don't care about that. So this is a Game Boy, this is a... The Game Boy Maker... I've been noticed a lot of people use game, this kind of Game Boy Maker tool to make Game Boy games. It's kind of neat. I might want to consider messing around with that myself. It's kind of neat. I really appreciate the Game Boy. Oh, there's the credits. Uh, let's see. Let's go start off. I find it funny they imagine the boat is going full on fish right. What about? <laughs> Anyways. So we're a bug. What kind of bug are we? I don't know. Kind of a, like a ladybug, maybe? We don't have a menu or anything, so I guess we're just walking around. I found Snoot. Thanks for coming. This tummy kick has been bothering me all week. I know you are a horticulturist. And since I'm a forest dragon, basically made of plants, I was wondering if you could, uh, go in and find the problem. Uh, let's see. Inside you? Yeah, you can climb it through my mouth and find whatever has been making my week awful. Is that safe? <laughs> ah, well, my guts are vestigial. I photosynthesize like most plants. Oh, they're just decorative guts. I gotcha. Nothing I eat gets digested. It's probably like exploring a fall small forest cave. Not that I've been inside myself. That would be very metaphysical of you. Oh, gee. Um, well, I still have a sense of taste, you see. And I may eat a stray fig or two when I, fi I find it looks tasty. Not bugs! Well, not normally. You're an exception. <laughs> Tasty-looking rocks, dirt, things folks forget in the forest. And, well, I fear one of those things I ate may be causing me a tummy ache. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much! I know it's an unusual ask. I'll have to find a way to repay you. Tongue! <laughs> Sweat drop. And leave. Please hurry! It feels weird to keep my mouth open like this. Your tongue's gonna dry out. Their tongue is huge. It feels like velvet. What about the teeth? Their back teeth. Flat like most forest animals. Oh, I can actually investigate. Teeth are weird. I'm glad I don't have teeth. Mandibles for the win? 
Their front teeth? They don't look sharp. Does the dragon made of plants eat dirt? I guess it would be rude to ask while I'm standing in their mouth. I mean, they could hear you from there. Oh, wow, it's like a cave. A soft, damp, and kind of squishy one. It's not cold like a cave, though. It feels warm, almost cozy, even. There's some warm caves sometimes. Besides caves like this. Ah! <laughs> what is all this stuff? Did they eat a whole toy store? Okay. Well, a battery's probably not good to eat. It's a battery! They probably ate to feel energized. I'm not sure that works. The blue fluid inside looks tasty. Oh, it's a magic eight ball. So what's the fortune when it landed in the belly? Some sort of game device? I wonder if it, the cartridges taste good. Only Legend of Zelda. That one's a real tasty one. Hey, dragon! Oh, I can hear you fine. I can, uh, I can feel you walking around. There's a lot of stuff in here. Am I near where it hurts? No, it feels further in than you are right now. Further? Um, well, I have multiple stomachs. Oh, you're like a cow. You're in the first one right now. Well, there is too much stuff in the way to go further. Hmm. Oh! Could you try walking around? Maybe that'll shift things. Okay, hold on to something. Oh my god, he looks like a fucking Ampharos. I love him. I guess I'll walk around then. Oh my god, he looked at this doofy forest dragon. Oh, I think I felt something. Ah, maybe not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, something definitely moved that time. Thanks, that did it. No problem. It's a huge black rectangle of wheels inside. The label says Robin Hood. I wonder if this takes place around Robin Hood time. Everything moves, so... To the second stomach. It's closed tight. Ah, the tickles. Oh, it opened. Time to go deeper. To the second stomach. Are they connected by tunnels? Fair enough. I mean, it's a vestigial digestive system, so it doesn't really matter how it's designed. You're getting close. I can feel you're in the right stomach now. Oh, this is a weird shape for a stomach. All right. There's a rock there. Oh, that doesn't look very healthy. I don't think animals actually have multiple stomachs. Yeah, cows. They have four. For sure. Looks like some kind of some sort of rat package. Ooh, maybe from Dragon Airmail, you could even say. Is that a is that a hole? Oh no! I think I found the source of your tummy ache. What is it? It's a chemical of some sort leaking out of a can. Why did you eat a gas can, Forest Dragon? Can you find some way to stop it from leaking? I'll look around. Oh, that's a gas cap can, okay. Ew, smells toxic! This has to be what's upsetting their stomach. You know, this whole stomach would be fumigated at this point with this, and the bug would probably immediately pass out. <laughs> How, wh don't eat a gas can! Looks like the cap to the leaking can. I should put it on the can to stop the leak. Phew! Now that the can is not leaking, I should find a way to clean up this chemical. We can get a stop, but I still need to find a way to clean this up. Hmm. Uh, gas does smell... Un like, don't smell gas, alright? But gas... Gas... I am one of those people where I, I do agree that gas seems to smell nice. I know it's not good to breathe it, but... Hmm, I wonder what's inside. This should work. I need just need some water. Dragon! Ah! Oh, sorry. I forgot you can hear me easily. I stopped the chemical leak. There's still a lot of spilled chemical, though. 
That explains why I'm still feeling ill. I found some soap, but I don't have any water. Oh, I can go drink some water from the river. Some of it should reach you. Alright, easy enough. Look at that tail wiggle. Lost lips. I wonder how long it will take the water to reach me. Wait, how much water are they going to drink? A lot. <laughs> Did you say the whole stream? Yes, that's how much. Not like soap candy. Nope. Soap candy at least tastes somewhat better? Ah! Oh gosh, I didn't realize how thirsty I was. I guess drinking gas might make you thirsty, yeah. Ugh! Excuse me! You're excused. How'd you get out? Wait, did I... I'm so sorry, I burped you out! It's okay, wasn't sure how I would've gotten out otherwise. Are you feeling any better? I think so. My stomach's not hurting anymore. I'm not sure how I can repay you. I'm sorry you had to go through that to help me. Oh, I'll think of something. It was actually kind of fun. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they think that's the game. Not terribly long, but pretty cute, actually. <laughs> so that was Dragon Diving. I didn't expect it to be long. The Dragon Air Mill games themselves were pretty short, too. Just little, little wholesome nuggets of gameplay. And this definitely applies to that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a dragon diving into a festival digestive system of a, of a dragon made of the forest that's surrounding it. Kind of makes me think of Leafeon, actually. Kind of like animal, but also plant. <laughs> that was pretty cute. I like that.